Hello, darling. What brings you to my boutique after hours, hmm? Couldn't wait to get a look at my newest line of latex leggings, I see. Ah, ah, ah. Trying to get away, dear? Clearly you're interested in my wares, so why not stick around a little? But, hmm, what to do? Here I have a naughty little shoplifter trying to make away with some of my top-of-the-line latex fashion. Suppose I could call the authorities, but honestly, that would be a hassle, and a bunch of cop cars around my lovely boutique would look bad in the papers. So, my little guest, I'm going to give you a deal. Or in this case, a job. You work for me from this moment on, and we'll forget about this whole little debacle. <laughs> Sound like a plan? Good, good. I assure you, I only offer my employees the best benefits. But for now, while we're here, let's get you in uniform. There we go. Hope those are comfy. I don't want to hurt your lovely little wrists. Now, I'm just going to need you to take this hose for me. There we go. Sorry, dear, but here at my boutique, we have a very strict dress code. After all, I have an image to maintain. But don't worry. I can assure you it will be a lovely improvement. But first, we need to fill out your curves a little. Ah, yes. Give me those hips, my lovely. <laughs> You're gonna be a great model. I can already see you blushing. You love this, don't you? <laughs> I figured you would. One doesn't break into my high-class establishment and not be a little into rubber. Ah, your chest. So perky now. Let me get a feel. Ah. Almost as good as, well, mine. <laughs> Almost. And now, for the next step, while the rest of you fills out, you'll have to be wearing the right colors. Namely, mine. Ah, you look so lovely in my shade, dear. And I can tell how you would like it, too. I can hear you giggling over the air compressor, you know. Ah. You're going to be such a lovely, voluptuous queen. <laughs> Just like me. After all, who better to model my products than me? Oh, such a lovely puffy button tail you have now. So soft, yet bouncy. After all, you're gonna work with the best. You better look like the best. Hmm. Almost my height. Didn't realize how big I would be in person, now did you? Yes, the commercials rarely do it justice. And that should handle the base coat. Now we should think about wardrobe. Oh, I know just the thing. We just got in this darling inflatable dress, dear. Oh, you'll love it. Ah, lovely. This goes with your eyes, or in this case, my eyes, so, well, let me go ahead and there we go. You seem to be about the right size now, so let's go ahead and take out that hose. Tell me, dear, how do you like my dress? Does it fit my curves well enough for you, dear? Well, that's not even the half of it. We haven't even inflated it yet. Oh yes, I do so love me a good balloon ball gown. The cacophony of squeaks as you walk. The blushing faces of everyone who sees you. Oh, it's just lovely. <laughs> do you love the way the dress presses against your hips? So tight, yet so comfortable. Ah, 
you seem to be fine now. So let's go ahead and remove those rubber restraints. I need to see my lovely understudy up close and personal. Mind if I just have a feel around? Oh yes, the hips filled in perfectly. The chest just as perky as I was expecting. Your cute little tummy is plump as mine. Oh, you turned out so cute, my dear. I say, one of my finer jobs. And I can tell by your big smile that you agree, my dear. Well, I'm glad I could be of help. Part of why I got into this business was to help people feel their best. To help people be the person they want to be. It gives me so much joy. More so than the money ever would. And it seems this is what you consider your best. Well, feel free to be like this as long as you wish. As for the job, well, we need to set up the display for those leggings. Would you be a dear and take care of that for me?